up, beauty? Ron Gardenhire <laughs> is, uh, is certainly ready for a change of scenery and a change of fortunes after his team falls to 2-11 and 11 in the month of July. Before he can turn the page on this one, he's dealing with Johnny Kane and his media brethren during his post-game press conference brought to you by Line of Googles. Freddie, how would you uh, sum this one up? Well, a good fight. Uh, you know, we, we got after it pretty good against, uh, you know, a good pitcher out there who's just so competitive and, and just keeps coming at you. And, you know, we kind of hung in there and got close a little bit. And then Matty, you know, a couple of big home run balls uh, end up, you know, hurting him. He gave us a good six. And uh, like I said, those guys, they seem to make make plays when they have to. Uh, they're they're uh, uh, they make a lot of really big plays that end up, you know, kind of knocking you back when you start getting close to them. So it's a good team over there, and they're playing for something. And and uh, I thought we we competed very well again tonight with Maddie out there. Unfortunately, we lose the ball game. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, here we go home. Only winning one on a road trip, not very good. In the top of the eighth, almost a breakthrough inning for you guys. Uh, as it turned out, they, they have the, the, the play is reviewed with Brandon Dixon going to second base. What clarification did you get from Laz Diaz? We don't get a clarification. Uh, I just walked out and said, what happened? And he said, they, they overturned it. So, uh, so uh, there you have it. We don't, they just made the decision up in New York. It comes from New York. They review it, and they overturned it. So there you have it. I, I, I don't know how, but they did it. So. When you have plays like that, and then you know, with Ray as an inning before, almost put a charge in one, almost gets to the, almost leaves the yard. Do you f almost feel like during this stretch that those breaks that could maybe go your way and maybe change the outcome of the game instead? Right now, it's just one of those points in time where they're not going that way. Well, it is, and almost is a very big word uh, in baseball, and uh, it doesn't really count for anything. Uh, all we can do is keep trying and getting after it, which we do, and the guys are cheering in the dugout and. You know, we made them go through their bullpen pretty good uh, uh, at the end there. And uh, hand, but four out save. So, you know, we, we competed pretty good. We just, uh, like I said, fell a little short. Are you seeing anything, you or Andy, seeing anything with the home runs with Boyd? I mean, it's been six or six or so starts with that, that home run. Well, his I, I think he's trying to come in, and he's not getting it in all the way. You know, he's leaving it just enough where they're getting to it. That's... Uh, what he was talking about on the bench. If you're going to try to come in, you got to get in there uh, because, you know, his stuff uh, that he throws away is, is his out pitches, the backdoor sliders and the balls in the dirt. And, you know, a lot of times the fastballs for effect going in, you'll throw for some for strikes, but he's just not getting them all the way in and end up in the seats on him. That's probably as much frustration as he's shown outwardly. It's, it's obviously, you know, he's starting to bug him a little bit. Huh? Yeah, probably so. I think you'll probably be able to ask him a little bit better than me. Uh, he'll he'll tell you the truth. I know that, and uh, he's frustrated with it too. Um, before the review, you went out and said something or asked Laz something before you, before they decided to overturn it. Was there where you just want to make sure which base they were? No, they wanted to know if we had anything that we wanted to challenge. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and uh, we looked at we had already looked at the pl the play at first base. Whether I think it was Nicky beat it beat the ball to first base. It was really close too. Um, so, uh, but uh, we said no. What did you see from Rosenthal second time out? I thought he threw the ball good. He was pumping it in there. Um, good velocity. Didn't use his breaking ball very much. Uh, um, but, you know, ended up throwing a few pitches. But, I, I, I mean, he needs to pitch. The only way we're going to really know anything is just exactly that, get him out there and pitch. And I like the velocity, and he threw it over better today than he did yesterday or the last time. So, you know, just every, every step uh, is, is going forward with him. That's all we can do, just try to get him the ball and get him out there, you know, every other day or whenever it might be to see, see what we got. The ball didn't fill in. Was that a situation where nobody called it or did somebody call it? That would be probably what happened most of the time when everybody's looking. Doherty was going for the ball, and then he thought he heard something, and he pulled off of it, and everybody else did too. Uh, so it's just communicating. Just, you know, communicate. Normally the guy coming in from the outfield is the one that has a beat on that ball when an infielder's going back that far, and I'm sure he heard steps, footsteps. That's what happens. Yes, we uh, optioned Reyes, and we'll be activating uh, uh, Jonesy tomorrow for tomorrow's ball game. So Reyes will fly with us home and then uh, head to Toledo. Uh, did a real nice job up here. And uh, Jonesy's good. Everything's perfect, so he'll be back joining us.